think I'd, the best adventures I've ever had have been the ones where the pavement ends. On this trip we did to Haida Gwaii, it's this, it's this island right above Vancouver Island in Canada. We've been trying to get there for years and we just, we finally figured out a way to kind of access this one remote stretch of beach. We had this 4x4 four four and we were driving around, we're seeing, you know, we're seeing deer, we're seeing eagles, there's, there's, it's just surreal, totem poles everywhere. And we get to the very, very end of the road and then all it is is a beach. We put it in a four wheel and we just, we take off on the sand. Luckily, the tide was low and so we were able to kind of basically weave in and out of this like forested area where the ocean comes right up to it. Got to the end, the waves were terrible. I mean, it was, it was unsurfable. Like, you know, the, the worst day you could imagine. We ran our way back to the car and what we realized was that that road we came in was completely gone and all of a sudden we realized this place had 25 foot tides. So the beach that was our road was gone. So we knew we were, we were sleeping there. There's no chance we're getting back. So we basically kind of scoured this little coastline and we found there was like a little kind of shack somebody had built probably for this exact purpose. We ended up getting our board bags and our wetsuits, using them as blankets and anything to stay warm. And it was a, even with that, it was a windy, like, you know, no sleep night. And in the morning, we're all tired, waking up. And first thing we heard when we woke up was the sound of crashing waves. I mean, the air was so crisp. It was like shallow sandbar with just huge raw Pacific Northwest swell, just like breaking right on this thing. And we surfed for like six hours, just in enough time to get out of there before the tide came in. So for me, that was such a rewarding experience, you know, because it was, it was something I'll never forget. Yeah.